praise be to yahawa bahashem yahawa shai bahashem mtaka dash na buhana to zaidi na apostle of bitmiston peace and blessing salutation to the kingdom who pushing this truth to the four winds of the heaven uh, it is another update on this what you are really seeing man uh, there is news every day man so I am going to read from the book of Isaiah 47 before we dive in to this news which say Israel strikes Hamas targets Russia and China caution US on missile test and the more news so I will, I will prophesize from Isaiah 47 and then we will go right into this news man come down sit in the dust of virgin dot of babylon sit on the ground there is no throne man uh, so uh, the watchers are telling uh, we are the watchers the watchers are telling uh, uh, this whore to sit on the dust man uh, there is no throne because the foundation of america will be broken into pieces man will be broken to dust is and, and uh, that status of america being the pinnacle uh, of uh, the roman empire will be taken man or dot of the chaldean as a chaldean were as a elite uh, during the time of the babylonian empire and uh, this now now is talking about the, the, the today's weak elite man for those shall no more be called tender and delicate man what does that mean it means that america haven't been touched man America have been bombing other countries putting hell on other country putting sanction on other countries they live a hard life but this time man, the nation the nation against this home man. they putting tariff on America to the point that America will turn to the to be a said old country before it get no off the map to take a mistun in the grind the meal and it covers a rock make bear the leg and it covers the side pass of the river you see <laughs> take take a mistun man and, and this is the speech because we call ourselves self great mistun man uh, first of all america have already been fallen fallen spiritually man because the prophet have been prophesizing uh, since 1960 up to now man so we have been uh, grinding this hole man spiritually uh, now this hole is about to be taken physically man and i have been telling you this for the longest if you want to cover the size of a hole what do you see inside what do you see down there man you see cellulite you see std and a different sexual transmitted disease man uh, that is a shame which is upon this hole man thy nakedness shall be uncovered here thy shame shall be seen man as a shame of america or the weak elite eh, of this eh, eh, reincarnation of the roman empire have been put to shame that's why you have been seeing these things which go with eh, epstein and whatever man and this pedophile ring eh, which is running lampard man sex trafficking and everything man Uh, all of these things are, are being exposed now man uh, because the men of the lord man uh, are pushing hard man uh, for the downfall of this whole man and uh, this weak elite man is a child uh, you see uh, uh, let's go uh, uh, i was reading of this series i nakedness shall be uncovered years i shame shall be seen i will take vengeance and i will not meet his ears as a man so yahawa shall you will not come as a lamb man Yeah, how shall we not come as a lamb uh, people sing hosanna hosanna and he, he is mounting on your as man uh, yeah, how shall is coming as an angelic force man i have been talking this for the longest yahaba yeah, shemya washai is coming uh, with his archangel man and every archangel uh, lead a region of angels man in a military formation man uh, they will be flying like birds man in a different military formation a uh, flight triangular military formation a uh, uh, hollow box compact box military formation and every kind of military formation we don't even know 
so it will be a spectacular destruction me i pray through the spirit of yahaba shem yahashai i live to see that day me baba kasha let's continue i will take vengeance and will not meet zia the man for our redeemer the lord of host is his name the holy one of israel so deliverance is only for israel me amen the, the, the scriptures man all this uh, this song have been hidden uh, uh, to some people man and uh, this scripture have been revealed to some people man because every every chapter of the bible i read i see through those chapters that the deliverance is only for israel but some people can't see even if we bring obvious the scriptures man we see, verse 5, Sit thou silent and get thee into the darkness, O daughter of Chaldean, for thou shall no more be called the lady of the kingdom. <laughs> so this is not talking about non-damni, uh, Catholic church or Christianity. This is not talking about Saudi Arabia, man, to be Babylon. Uh, for you, for you weak Jake who say so, you know, Babylon is Saudi Arabia, man. Uh, you see, uh, because... Uh, here, right here, it, it, it is telling you, uh, for thou shall not no more be called the lady of the kingdom. Eh? And uh, we, we went on reading here, it seems that this Babylon is a country, eh? and uh, it is symbolically referred to as a lady, eh? the whole. Eh? Why is it, is, is, it, is it referred to as a whole? Eh? Because uh, through his philosophy, and this different uh, sweet doctrine, uh, uh, this kingdom, uh, which is called Babylon, uh, have made the nation to drink uh, different kind of madness, man. And the nation are drunk, man. And this whole Babylon have been laying on these nations for the longest, man, because they were asleep because of his philosophy. And the nation is starting to wake up, and eventually they will burn her with fire, man. So this is not talking about uh, Roman Catholicism, or this is not talking about Saudi Arabia. I will continue verse 6. I was lost with my people, I have polluted my inheritance, and given thee, them into thy hand, and this is them show no mercy upon the ancient, although very heavily laid the yoke. So this is talking about the oppression we went through uh, when we were at Babylon, man. And thou said, I shall be a lad for, forever, so that thou did not lay thee thing to thy heart, neither did remember the later end of it. So, this wicked elite of Babylon or America, they don't continue, con, consider their, their later end, man. They are being wicked, continuing to their weakness. But the Lord is asking, why did you not consider, consider your later end? Where, when you were oppressing the children of, of Israel, man. Uh, uh, verse 9 but this, these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day a loss of children and a widowhood man. Uh, because this whore is saying I am not a widow man, because she have been committing fornication with different kingdoms, multiple kingdoms uh, but all of this kingdom they will wake up to the fact that America was just a whore man, uh, a rotten whore man uh, uh, after America being uncovered, uh, uh, his thigh being uncovered, man, uh, this different nation will see uh, 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 how sick uh, uh, this whole is, man. And they will say, hey, come on, man. Uh, hey, man, let's leave this whole, man. Uh, uh, hey, man. And when you, you, you discover that your woman is a whole, what do you do, man? You leave her, man. You cut your supply, man. That's what this other nation are going to do. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for a multitude of sorcerer and for great abundance of the enchantment. And another thing this whore have been doing is witchcraft, man. Uh, uh, his philosophy uh, on, from the left hand side, they have been performing sorceries, engagement, and witchcraft, especially to the nation of Israel, so that we can't wake up. Uh, all of that, infra, starting from the infrastructure, man infrastructure all of that building uh, clubs and different things man life, lifestyle all of those are witchcraft man because 
the infrastructure when you are in America, America look beautiful. That will make you complacent and say, this is the kingdom, man. This is life, man. Through the infrastructure of America. That's some kind of enchantment. Anything in this society which will make you forget your Lord, man, which make you comfortable and complacent, that is a form of witchcraft. So, infrastructure fit into that sort of thing, man. Infrastructure is witchcraft. When you are staying on a skyscraper or lounge or a hotel, man, you are comfortable, man. Do you think you will go to prophesy, man? Uh, so, the men of the Lord have come out of that Jewish man, out of those enchantment, man. Because the scripture says there is no enchantment against Jacob. That was talking about the elect, man. These other jakes, uh, these who are in the inter entertainment industry, man, they don't see that, man, because they are deep in witchcraft. Uh, they are living comfortable. Uh, you see? Uh, so, the Lord is telling Babylon. Uh, verse 12, let's jump. Stand now with the enchantment, and it is a matter of the sorcerer, when thou has labored from the youth, if so be thou, shall, th shall be able to profit, if so be thou, uh, may they prevail. So America have been doing this from, he, from his youth, uh, from the foundation of America. America was built through enchantment and the sorcerer, if you didn't know. Uh, see? Verse 14, Behold, they shall be as stubble, the fire shall burn them, they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame, there shall not be a coal to warm it, nor fire to sit before it. Yeah. See? Though thus shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchant from the youth, they shall wander everyone to his quarter, none shall save thee. So this is talking about this other nation, man. They shall not save America. In return, they will pay her with vengeance, man. So with that, let's dive in to see uh, the prelude uh, uh, to that great day in which this other nation will return against America, man, uh, to burn her with fire, man. Uh, let's see uh, the allegorism to it. Uh, uh, let's see the allegorism to it or the way forward to this great day, man. That's why we are doing these epistles every day, man. Uh, to warn you that the great day of the Lord is coming, the vengeance of the Lord is coming, the day when the Lord will take vengeance against America, the day when the Lord will take vengeance against his enemy. We have been telling you the Lord have his enemy, man. You go and read that to Psalm 81, uh, if you don't know. Or type, we use your search engine in the typing, uh, the Lord's enemy. Uh, Great Millstone, uh, uh, thousand of video will come. Man. You see, so let's dive in to these different news and assess uh, and measure the time diligent uh, uh, to that day uh, which is approaching the great day of the Lord, in which I always pray to see that day man, because it will be a beautiful sight. Man. Uh, it will be a rewarding sight to see. Man. <laughs> it will be enough to see that fire, man. America will be turned into a lake of fire, man. Uh, America is a sitting, uh, the scripture tells you the whole is sitting on many waters, man. When America will be turned into a lake of fire, uh, different source of waters, man, will dry, man. Because the missiles have million Celsius degree of temperature. Uh, water only evaporates at 100 Celsius degree. How about million Celsius degree? So America will be turned into a little lake of fire, man. And as a nation, when they see that, they will be afraid of, of that which is high, man. Which is Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Alisha Da, the demon with power, man. So that respect of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, will turn, man. I told you, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, is a true Negro, man. And we always want our respect. We are living in this kingdom, in this captivity. Uh, we, are, we, are, we are down in, in the society, so we don't uh, exercise uh, our, 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 true, uh, our true nature as lions. Man. And Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh is the top lion on the food chain. Man. So the lion wants his respect. Uh, 
praise be to how Hashem, 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 Hashem. So let's dive in to see these different news. Today's broadcast, I do have some updates I'd like to bring to you in regards to the United States, Russia, China, as well as Israel, Iran, and North Korea. So we definitely have a lot to go over. But I first would like to address China and Russia's concerns in regards to the United States' recent missile test. It is being reported. Russia stated on Tuesday that the United States was ramping up military tensions by testing a medium-range cruise missile just weeks after leaving the INF Treaty. The Russian Deputy Foreign Minister stated that this is all a cause of regret. The U.S. has obviously taken a course towards escalation of military tensions. We won't react to provocations. And we also won't allow ourselves to get drawn into a costly arms race. He also stated that the test, just over two weeks after the United States withdrew from the treaty, shows that it had been working on such missiles for a long time ahead of the withdrawal. And President Putin stated on Wednesday that the United States was now in a position to deploy a new land-based cruise missile in Romania and Poland, a scenario he considered a threat that Moscow would need to respond to. President Putin said that Washington could potentially now use existing launch systems in Romania and Poland to fire the new missile, meaning it could deploy it easily and swiftly if it chose to. He said launches of this new missile can be carried out from launch systems already located in Romania and Poland. All you have to do is change the software. And I don't think our American partners will inform even the European Union about this. This entails new threats for us that we must react to. Finally, it reports that the United States has said it has no imminent plans to deploy the new land-based missiles in Europe. And China also expressed concern. In Beijing, the Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman said the test showed that the United States was stoking a new arms race and confrontation, which would have a serious negative impact on regional and global security, stating also that we advise the United States side to abandon outdated notions of Cold War thinking and zero-sum games and exercise restraint in developing arms. And China has also vowed to take unspecified countermeasures if the United States deploys ground-based missiles in South Korea or Japan. Russia has also said it would respond if they were deployed. It goes on further to report that a fellow in Carnegie's nuclear policy program in Beijing stated that from the U.S. perspective, to deploy such missiles in Asia would at least force China to take massive measures to protect its military targets from a possible U.S. threat, a cost imposition strategy to distract and delay China's buildup of offensive military capabilities, and China may flex its muscles in response. China sees possible new U.S. missile deployments to its doorstep as very provocative and dangerous. It may decide to counter new U.S. missiles by developing and deploying more missiles and increasing their lethality. And it goes on finally to report that Washington is also believed to be preparing for another test in November of an intermediate-range ballistic missile that it wants to deploy to the Asia-Pacific region. And this will signal an escalation of tension in the coming months. And with all of that said, it is also being reported that the U.S. will develop hypersonic missiles with ballistic warheads, which I am sure is only going to escalate tensions even further with Russia and China, as it is also being reported that Russia and China has gone to the UN Council 
to complain about the United States' recent missile test. So definitely some very high tensions. And as always, I will continue to keep you updated. But I would like to switch gears and talk about what is happening in North Carolina. It is being reported that apparently the Army will hold secretive war exercises that will be staged in 21 North Carolina counties. A series of special forces military training exercises, including gunfire with blanks, is being staged across 21 North Carolina counties starting on August 30th. And the Army is telling the public not to be alarmed at the suspicious-looking activity. Known as Robin Sage Training, the unconventional warfare exercises can be likened to live-action role-playing in the extreme, with hostile engagement playing out between Special Forces students, volunteer civilians, and soldiers out of Fort Bragg. And it will continue through September 12th. Heavily populated counties like Wake, Cumberland, and Union counties are among the training sites. The students will match wits with more seasoned soldiers who will act as realistic opposing forces and guerrilla freedom fighters. Advance notice has become a critical part of the program since one soldier was killed and another wounded in 2002 by a Moore County deputy who mistook the exercises for criminal activity. A similar Fort Bragg military exercise in 1997 created panic in Charlotte when uptown residents were terrified by the sounds of 100 commandos attacking a warehouse. Finally, it reports that the exercises starting next week will involve engagements against a fictionous country known as Pineland. Staging areas will be largely on private land in 10 of the 21 counties, but the others may feel some impact, stated officials. Residents may hear blank gunfire and see occasional flares. Controls are in place to ensure there is no risk to persons or property. So definitely some very interesting news there in regards to North Carolina. And as always, I will continue to keep you updated. But speaking about exercises, the United States and Israel held their own exercises, simulating the retaking of a hijacked ship. Israel's military said on Tuesday it has conducted a joint exercise with U.S. Special Forces simulating the retaking of a hijacked ship. Israeli officials said the two militaries exercised regaining control of a hijacked ship and extricating forces from enemy territory. The exercise was held last Wednesday, but details were only announced by the military on Tuesday. The Army said the drill had no connection to recent events and was planned as part of its annual training plan. And the Times of Israel is reporting that a senior Iranian commander has stated that they rank the first in the missile technology at the regional level and are placed among the few global powers in this regard. Claiming that Iran was leading the regional power on drone technology and said the IRGC's downing of a U.S. unmanned aerial vehicle in June showed the capabilities of Iranian radar and air defense systems. He also said that Iran could not let up on its efforts to develop new military technologies, stating that we shall stall and lag behind the enemy should we stop peddling. Therefore, we need to go ahead with our deterrent activities in a round-the-clock manner and also make every effort and boost our military capabilities. And finally, it reports that just last month, Iran had tested a medium-range ballistic missile that is widely believed to be capable of delivering a nuclear warhead. And the Jerusalem Post is reporting that IDF fighter jets attacked a number of terrorist targets along the Gaza Strip, according to an IDF spokesperson. The IDF tweeted today in response to the rocket fire from Gaza to Israel, we just struck a number of military targets in a Hamas naval facility in the northern Gaza Strip. The attack was carried out in response to rocket attacks launched at Israel from Gaza earlier this evening. The rockets landed in open areas and no injuries were reported. This was the fifth rocket fired from Gaza in the last six days. The IDF report states the troops will continue to stop attempts to harm Israeli civilians and considers Hamas to be the responsible party for what is happening in and around 
the Gaza Strip. In the meantime, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Monday hinted that Israel was behind recent airstrikes on Iranian targets in Iraq, stressing that Israel will continue to act militarily whenever and wherever there is a need to do so. He told reporters on Monday that Iran has no immunity anywhere. The Iranians continue to threaten Israel with annihilation and are building military bases across the Middle East intended to carry out that goal, stated Netanyahu, adding that we will act and currently are acting against them wherever it is necessary. Those are definitely some fighting words coming out of Israel. And speaking of Israel, the Times of Israel is reporting that President Trump has stated that he will release the peace plan in September after the Israeli election. President Trump on Sunday confirmed that his administration would likely release the peace plan after Israel's elections in September. The president told reporters, we will probably wait for the release of the Middle East peace plan until after the Israeli elections, adding that the United States might release small parts of it beforehand. The plan was to have been unveiled this summer, but was delayed after Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu wasn't able to form a coalition following the April elections and called for a fresh vote now scheduled for September 17th. The U.S. has so far kept the political elements of its plan under wraps, which economic aspects of it were presented in June by Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner. The economic side of the plan would see a $50 billion investment package for the Palestinians and the wider region. The Palestinians skipped the conference and have rejected the peace plan outright, pressing on with their boycott of the administration since President Trump recognized Jerusalem as Israel's capital in December 2017 and also cut Palestinian aid. Netanyahu says he's willing to wait and see the contents of the plan, but reiterated he will not compromise on Israel's security. It goes on finally to report that no details have been published so far about how the plan tackles key issues, such as a potential independent Palestinian state, Israeli control over the West Bank, the fate of Jerusalem, and the right of return for Palestinians to homes from which their families fled or were expelled after Israel's creation in 1948. However, U.S. officials have indicated that they will back Palestinian autonomy and self-governance, but stop short of endorsing the establishment of a Palestinian state. The Palestinians right now want nothing to do with this peace plan, and Israel isn't making any commitments either. But I wonder how fast that would change if the building of a temple were involved. I guess only time will tell, and I will definitely continue to keep you updated. But I would like to move on and talk about North Korea next. It is being reported that apparently Japan is warning that North Korea now has miniaturized nukes small enough to fit on its ballistic missiles. And they're considering North Korea a serious and imminent threat. Japanese defense chiefs warn in a new white paper that North Korea's military activities pose a serious and imminent threat. In last year's report, Japan said it was possible that North Korea had achieved miniaturization, but Tokyo now appears to have upgraded its assessment. Experts say that Japan is seen as a primary target of nearby North Korea's weapons capabilities and fears that North Korea's nuclear program is growing unabated. The Japanese report highlights the lack of progress on denuclearization talk. And a nuclear affairs expert stated that it is Japan that is most threatened and probably the primary target of such a capability. So openly acknowledging it underscores Tokyo's acute fears that North Korea's nuclear program continues to grow unabated with no foreseeable plan to slow its growth, let alone eliminate them. In last year's defense paper, Japan stated that miniaturizing a nuclear weapon small enough to be mounted on a ballistic missile requires a considerably high degree of technological capacity. However, they said it is impossible that North Korea has achieved 
and developed these type of nuclear warheads. Meanwhile, American officials have concluded for years that North Korea had likely produced the miniaturized nuclear warheads. South Korean intelligence forces believe that North Korea continued to miniaturize their nuclear warheads even after the Singapore summit between Trump and Kim in 2018. And Washington has insisted on complete denuclearization as a condition for lifting the U.S. sanctions. So definitely some very interesting news there in regards to North Korea. And as always, I will continue to follow this report and bring you updates. But I'd love to hear from all of you and get your thoughts. So please do leave your comments in the comment section. And also... Shalom. I hope you buzz I defied. 